Hi guys, have a good weekend. But please give some thought about the topic that we cover in class today. Fun what was it this year? Oh, come on. Our democratic tradition. <laughs> yeah. Okay? okay. Everybody clear? Yeah. See you later. See you later. Bye. Hello, welcome to Prof en Casa. I'm teacher Gabriela and today we're going to talk about our democratic tradition. Hey guys, ready to sweat a little bit today? Yes, I'm ready now. Let's go. I'd really like just a lesson on democracy. I also enjoyed it too. Hey Isaac, are you okay man? You have been so quiet for the last few minutes and that's not like you. I'm, I'm just fine, it's just that. Well, I was thinking about yesterday class and I don't know, it all seems so pointless, you know? Hey, what's up, guys? Are you really tired? No, it's just that Isaac is telling me he thinks democracy is pointless. What? You can't be serious. Wait, wait, wait. It's not democracy itself. It's a nice idea, but just that. An idea, nothing else. You may have a pointer. What does democracy really mean to us? Hey, guys. Are you enjoying your Saturday? Oh, hi, teacher. We were just... Teacher, we were just talking about democracy. Oh, good, good. I'm glad you guys are taking time to reflect on it. Yes, but we are having some doubts about it. We're not truly really sure what democracy means. How does it affect our daily lives? Mm. I see. Okay, let's go for a run and then pay attention to your surroundings. So, what do you notice as we walk here? Well, I see regular people having fun, passing time. Others are working. Some are doing our projects. Very impressive, most of them. And some are just talking to each other. Exactly. In Costa Rica, we are free to work, enjoy, and express ourselves in many ways. These are the basic foundations of our democracy. Do you see? But I still don't see what that has to do with me. Okay, let's sit down and I'll explain it. Imagine for a moment that we lived under what they call a regime. What's that? A regime is the kind of government that imposes itself on the people. They operate under an authoritarian rule, not letting people work, think and express themselves as they want. Like Hitler in the Second World War. Well, that is a good example, yes. Hitler tried to impose his ideas on others. The same could happen in Costa Rica if we don't stand for our democratic values. I disagree with you, teacher. Hitler happened a long time ago. Well, you have the right to disagree with me, see? You are allowed to express your own opinion freely. But teacher, does the government really care about one's opinion? They do as they please, don't they? Mm, maybe that has happened in the past, but we have the power to choose. By voting. Of course, and choice is important. Elections take place every four years, and then we get to choose the president as well as our representatives in Congress. But this representative will propose and decide on the laws to govern us? How is that supposed to be democratic? Isn't it just a few deciding for the majority? Well, sure, but that's why they're supposed to represent us. Congress is formed by people of many political parties, making sure that every political ideology has a voice to be heard. How can we be sure that they will make the right decisions for our benefit? Well, there is the Constitutional Chamber, better known as Sala Cuarta, that supervises their actions. If you really want to be involved, voting is the first step you must take. But we are not allowed to vote until we are 18. 
So what can we do? But there's plenty you can do. First of all, get informed so you can build your own criteria to vote. And how can we get informed? Nowadays, information is at the tip of your fingers. You can go online and browse on the official sites for the candidates' proposals. In order to make a choice, it's important for you to start reading some news and making sure you understand current events. Now ask yourself this question. If elections were to be held tomorrow, what would be the issues you care most about? Well, I think that poverty is the major issue. It must be addressed as soon as possible. In my opinion, it is economy which is most important. People must have jobs with a good salary. I want to say that education is the most important. It will help with both poverty and economy, but I'm not really sure. And you, just mean, what issues do you think are most important? I believe they are all important, but it's too much responsibility for me. Yes, it is a big responsibility. After all, you're deciding for a better future. Teacher, I agree with you. Voting is a privilege for you, me, and everyone. And let's practice democracy. Me, I'm going to continue running. See you Monday. See you. How about we take a look at a summary of some of the important concepts we discussed today? I disagree with you, teacher. Hitler happened a long time ago. I disagree with you, teacher. Well, you have the right to disagree with me. Well, I think that poverty is the major issue. It must be addressed as soon as possible. I think that poverty is the major issue. In my opinion, it is economy which is most important. People must have jobs with a good salary. In my opinion, it is economy which is most important. I want to say that education is the most important. It will help with both poverty and economy. I want to say that education is the most important. I believe they are all important, but it's too much responsibility for me. I believe they are all important. All these phrases represent democracy. And you, what does democracy mean for you? I invite you to think about this as well as to visit the site Prof. Casa. See you next time.